Welcome back to the channel guys. We are back with another video. I'll be going through the ability test past paper of 2020. As you may know, the ability test exam has now moved to the 25th of March. So you have a little more time now to prepare. So let's go through the past paper of 2020. So the time allotted for the paper is 1 hour and 15 minutes. And as I said before, this is the ability test from last year, the past paper. So let us get into it. All right. Now, the instructions says there are 40 items on this test. Each has only one correct answer. Read each item carefully, then share the corresponding letter of the answer you have chosen all right now we are not going to shade today we're going to circle all right so but on your test you're going to have to shade your correct answer all right so let me choose a pen color here all right so we're going to be shading in blue all right the first question students are to school as soldiers are to and we are to look at all the options available to us Four options is multiple choice. And what's the relationship of students to school? You're going to look for a similar relationship for soldier. All right, so soldier would be to army. All right, number two, socks are to feet as watch is to. Look at the same relationship from in the sentence. Make a comparison. And then you go ahead and choose. So socks are to feet as watch is to wrist. All right, now, which, for number three, it says, for items three, select the correct response, which does not belong to the group. Now, this is a question that you will have to use the answers given to help you to figure this one out. Now, which does not belong to the group? Look at the options given. Barbados, St. Kitts, England, and St. Lucia. Now, when you look at all these four options, the only one that is not a part of the group are are a part of the Caribbean, I should say, is England. So we go and circle England for that one. All right, let us move to the next page. All right, so you know, for items four and five, select the option that is a necessary component of the word in bold text. All right, now you have car for number four. Now, which of these options do you think is necessary for a car? We have door engine lights and seat when you look at all the options an uh, engine would be the most necessary component of a car so we'll circle engine for that one all right for a book we have chapters glossary pictures and pages we know that all books must have pages so this is necessary all right now for item six and seven which pair of words is the odd one out now, we're going to have to look at the relationship for each of these words and their pairs and see which one is the odd one out. For number six, the odd one out would be brother and sister because this is a different comparison from all the others. All right. For number seven, auditorium to choirs in the table below are alike in some ways. Use them to answer item eight. Now, we have cheerful jovial delighted and glad now which of the word is not like the words in the table all right we have lucky happy elated and contented all right our first option there that would not be related to the others would be lucky so we would go with lucky for this one all right for items nine it said use the alphabet to find the next pair of letters in the series so the first pair is a and z now look at the second pair now so they are moving from they're moving inwards from both ends but from the, the first end where the let, starting of the letter a they are skipping one letter to the next letter and for the the end from z coming inwards they are skipping two letters and if you follow that pattern you should reach to I N and that one would be A. Alright, on to the next page again. Hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. 
all right now identify what comes next in the sequence now this is look like it's a plant you have seed plant blossom and after blossom we have a fruit now look at fruit is there as an option yes it is there we circle fruit all right for items 11 examine the words closely then select the the correct sequence in the terms of their size now we know that a village comes first so that would be what look for one that starts with two we know that after a village based on the options there then comes a parish so that's one that start with two then four then after parish we have county and after county then we have our country so that's two four three and one so the answer for this one would be d let me circle that properly all right now now for items 12 examine the words closely then select the correct sequence in the terms of their rank now it says in terms of their rank now which one of these persons have the, have the highest rank now most persons would think that the prime minister have the highest rank but it's not so it's actually the governor general so the gen governor general would come first so that means we we'll start with a three all right so since we start with a three the only options here that could be possible would be a and c now after the governor general comes the prime minister which would be one so that's three one the only one that is there with three one is a so that, let us finish check our answer after the prime after the prime minister it comes a member of parliament which is four and then the mayor comes last so the answer would be a for this one all right hope i'm not moving too fast moving on to the okay for items 13 select the most appropriate word to complete the sentence 13 reads water keeps the body dash especially when participating in sports does it keep the body thirsty does it keep the body clean does it keep the body hydrated or does it keep the body healthy when you're participating in sports you want to be hydrated so water keeps the body hydrated all right for items 14 and 15 read each sentence carefully then select the correct response jackie's mother's sister has a son how would that son be related to jackie he is jackie's dash now if it's jackie's mother's sister then that would mean it's jackie's aunt now if it's your aunt if it's jackie's aunt it would mean that that son would be jackie's cousin all right so for number 15 it says four planes left the airport about the same time heading to the same destination plane b arrived at the destination before plane a and plane d but after plane c which plane arrived first now if plane b arrived at the destination before plane a and d but after c it would be safe to say that plane c arrived first moving on read the passage carefully then select the best option in the in item 16 to 18. now the title of this comprehension passage it says devon house who doesn't have a cold sweet and creamy treat everyone loves ice cream and the ultimate creamy treat for most jamaicans is devon house ice cream to us there is no better ice cream in the world every day is ice cream day However, Sunday afternoons and public holidays are famous for Jamaican families to spread out on the lawns of Devon House and enjoy ice cream. 35 delicious flavors to choose from. Now, let's talk about Devon House Mansion itself. Did you know that this historical landmark was owned by Jamaica's first black millionaire, George Stiebel? A tour of George Stiebel's magnificent home gives us a glimpse of how the wealthy lived in the late 19th century. Now, why do, now question 16 reads, why do most families go to Devon House? All right, is it to visit George Stiebel, get a history lesson, visit the wealthy, or is it to get ice cream? I think this one is very easy, and it is to get ice cream. All right, next one. Which of the following is implied by the passage before the 19th century? All right, is it that Jamaica had no black millionaires? Devon House had the best ice cream in the world. It didn't state that. Jamaica's visited 
Devon House, there were no millionaires in Jamaica. All right, the only ones, only quest, only option there that is suitable would be that Jamaica had no black millionaires. All right, let me circle that one properly. All right, let us move to the next page. Which statement about Devon House is true? Well, for item 18, the one that is true is that it offers more than just ice cream because you can also go for a tour of the mansion. Now, the words in bold are an artificial language. Beside each word is its meaning in English. Now, Offin's Vich means big baby. Roka Flow means night cry. And Oflovich means cry baby. Now, it is obvious that Vich is baby. Now, 19 says, which word could mean baby dog? So, if Vich is baby or means baby, then we are going to be starting with Vich. The only one there starting with Vich would be B for 19. All right, use the statement below to answer items 20. Guinea pigs are from the class of mammals. Rabbits and guinea pigs make good pets. Rabbits and guinea pigs are from the same class. From the statements, from these statements, which must be true? All mammals make good pets. No, that is not stated. All mammals are pet. All pets are mammals. No, that's not stated. Rabbits are mammals. Rabbits are guinea pigs. No, rabbits are not guinea pigs. Rabbits are mammals because it said that rabbits and guinea pigs are from the same class. And it stated earlier that guinea pigs are of the mammal class. So, rabbits are mammals. Next page. Moving on. Examine the pattern below. Now, for the figure one, we have one block. For figure two, we have three blocks. And it goes on and on in the same pattern where figure four starts at four blocks down here and it add keep adding adding to it each time now how many rectangles would be in figure five now if you realize with all these figures they start with the figure one start with one down here figure two as two at the base and then when it goes to figure three, you add three more. When it goes to figure four, you add four. When it goes to figure five, more like you will have to add five. See, if you add five to what's here already for figure four, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus five, which will be equal to 15. Now, a picture is taken of a parking lot the numbers in the parking lot in the parking spaces follow a particular pattern use a picture below to answer item 22 which number belongs in the parking space where the car is parked so you see for it started at 2 a space is missing and it went on to 11 then from 11 to 23 then from 23 to 47 now Look at 11 to 23, all right? So, and then look at 23 to 47. What is the relationship there for, each, for, for both of those steps? What I realize is that the number before is doubled and then one is added, all right? And if that is the case, when two is doubled, it would be four, plus 1, which would give you 5 for where the car is parked. When 5 is doubled, it would give you 10, plus 1, which would give you 11. So that theory is correct. So therefore, the answer for this one would be C, and that would be 5. On to question 23. Examine the table below. There is a relationship between each number in row 1 and its corresponding number in row 2. Now look at row 1. It went from 3 in row 1 to 9, then from 6 to 18, then from 4 to 12. Now based on what I'm seeing here is that 
each of these numbers in row 1 is multiplied by 3 to get the numbers in row 2. So if that's the case, 7 times 3 would give us 21. Alright, which bar graph represents the information in the picture below? We have one smiley face there, one smiley face here. So we have two smiley faces. So we look for one that has two smiley faces. Alright, the only one that has two, smiley, two smiley face is A. Alright, one, one heart, two heart, three hearts. Look for one that has three hearts. The only one that has three hearts I am seeing here is A as well. How many moons? One, two, three, four, five. This one is simple. Look for one that has five moons. And the answer is still A. So the only options there, option there um, suitable is A. Alright, on to the next page. Now, the diagram below shows the model of a whole number. Each block in the model has a value of 1. Use the model and the information given to answer item 25. Now, we are seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Over there on 10 here, 5 singles. So we have 10 and 10 and 5 singles, so that's 25. Now let's just to see how many, how many of these are in one of these square blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 multiplied by 10. So one of these columns then, so to speak, would have been 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be 500 in total right here. Plus 10 and 10 and 5, which will be 5. 25. 525. That's C. Jamie's clue. On to, 20, on to question 26 now. Jamie's clue about his mystery number are given below. Use them to answer item 26. The first digit is one less than the second one. Right? We realize that. The third digit is double the second digit. The third digit is 8. Now, items 26. What is Jamie's three-digit mystery number? Now, if it said that the third digit is 8, we look at all of them. All the options have the third digit of 8. Now, they said that the third digit is double the second digit. So we are going to have to look at one that where the third digit, which is 8, is double the second one. So the only ones there available to be the answer would be um, B and D. Now look at the next part of the our next clue. The first digit is one less than the second one. So the one that has the third digit double the second one, and then the first one is one less than the second one, is B. We have to use all the clues given to answer. Okay, on to item 27. Which dot represents the fraction 1 fifth on the number line? Now, if you know what 1 fifth looks like, then you know that it doesn't reach 1. Alright, it's basically 1 part out of 5 parts. And those 5 parts make up 1 all. Now, based on what we have for the options here, the only one that would be suitable for one-fifth would be A. Alright, item 28, M and N are all numbers, and M times N is divisible by 2. Which statement about M is true when N is odd? Now, if N is odd, for you to get back an even number then you must multiply by an even number. So the only option there that is suitable would be A as well. Let me, let me circle that properly. Okay, on to the next page. Okay, so we're going strong. Item 29. Two students, Leah and Carl, each had a piece of cord. Each of them used all their cord to form the shape shown below. 
Now layer shape is a square and it measures four by four. Now if it measures four by four, that means all the sides measure four centimeters. So that would give you a perimeter of four times four, which would be 16 centimeters, all right? Carl's shape is a rectangle with length eight and with with two centimeters. So two plus eight, that's 10 times two would give you a perimeter of 20 centimeters. So we know that Carl's shape is measures 20 centimeters and Leah's shape measures 16 centimeters in perimeter. Now, which is true about the length of Leah's card and Carl's card? All right. Leah's card is longer than Carl's card. No, that could not be the case because Leah's card is only 16 centimeters while Carl's card is 20 centimeters. Carl's card is longer than Leah's card. Well, we know that is true, so we may go ahead and circle true. But let's read all the options. Leah's card and Carl's card are equal in length. No, that's not the case. The length cannot be determined. Yes, we determine the length based on what we're given. So it's Carl card is longer than Leah's card. All right, let's Mr. Record properly. All right, moving on. Question 30. Mary wants to determine the number of sweets in a jar. Sam gave her some clues. The number of sweets in the jar is less than 60. It is greater than 30, and it is also a multiple of 3. Based on Sam's clues, about how many sweets could be in the jar? So it is less than 60. The options there that are less than 60 is 59, 57, 27. All right, so D could not be the option because it is not less than 60. All right, it is, a, it is greater than 30. If it's greater than 30, then 27 could not be the answer. Right, it is a multiple of 3. So you have 57 and 59 remaining. The only one there that is a multiple of 3 is 57. So 57 is the answer for that one. So we move to the next page now again. We are at items, item 31. All right. Now, Go Mart sell pencils for $20.50 each. Approximately how much would 1,500 pencils cost? All right. Now, would it be less than 15,000? No. Would it be more than 15,000 but less than 30,000? No. Because they're multiplying by basically 20. Right? Would it be more than 30,000 but less than 45,000? We would work with that one because that sounds more realistic. All right, we are getting there, guys. The diagram below shows a certain number of marbles in a bag. Half of them are red. The number of blue marbles is the same as the number of green marbles. So we know that based on what we're seeing here, if the number of red marbles are is the same as blue and green combined then this number of marbles must be divisible by four now the question says which of the following could not be the number of marbles in the bag 96 is divisible by four 78 is not 52 is divisible by four 28 is divisible by four so we know that the answer is 78 because it says not be the number of marbles in the bag. All right. Item 20, 33. A bookstore sells pencils for $30 each, notebooks for $80 each, and pens for $50 each. Which combination of items can be purchased with $300? Now, when we did, if you should add up all of these five pencils, one notebook, and two pens based on your addition skills you would know that the only one there that could be bought with $300 is D which would be three pencils at three times 30 that would be 90 plus one notebook at $80 which would be 170 and two pens at 100 which would give you a total of 270 Moving on, students were asked to select one fruit for breakfast and one fruit for lunch. The table below shows the number of students who selected each fruit. Use the information to answer items 34 
to 37. Now, based on what we're seeing here, then for fruits selected for breakfast, apple, banana, mango, and plums. It's the same fruit selected for lunch. Now, this table is showing for lunch, while this same table is being used for breakfast, but look at where the totals are. These are the breakfast totals over here. So, we are using the rows going across, adding up to get the totals for breakfast. And the columns for the totals for lunch. Alright. Now, it says which fruit was selected by most students for lunch. Alright. These are lunch totals down here. You look at the highest total. Now, it is that banana is at 200. So, banana is a fruit selected by most students for lunch all right how many students were in the survey all right now we have to pay keen attention to what we read now it says students were asked to select one fruit for breakfast and one for lunch so it's the same set of students who did the survey for breakfast also did the survey for lunch when we add up 150 and 200 that's 350 plus 60 that's 410 410 and 90, that's 500. So, how many students were in the survey? That would be a total of 500. Alright, how many students selected bananas for both breakfast and lunch? Now, we are going to have to look for bananas where they, the, 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 the column and row meet. Alright, so this is the banana row here. And we are going to look at where it meets the banana column banana column banana row and they meet and merge at 60 so that would mean that 60 students selected banana for both lunch and breakfast all right moving on to the next page all right so this one says 37 how many students who selected Plum for breakfast, also selected mango for lunch. Alright, so plum for breakfast and mango for lunch. We're going to have to go back to the next page to see what actually happened there. So plum for breakfast and mango for lunch. So let us look for plum for breakfast. So this is a breakfast row. Plum going across and mango for lunch. The that column meets at 10 so that option there would be 10 let us look to see if 10 is there as an option yes it is there for as a as an option so we circle 10 all right items 38 what two shapes can be joined without overlap to form this kite now if it if there is no overlap then the only one that could fit into that shape perfectly, looking at all these shapes, could not be this one, it could not be this one, it could not be this one. It could only be A. Alright. Now, moving on again. We're almost there, guys. Alright. Now, which two shapes in the, the rectangle below can be combined to form a five-point star? Now, if it's a five-point five star, we're going to have to look for a shape that has five sides and one that can give us these points, all right? So, based on what we're looking at, it could not be the square because a square has four sides. Can a triangle be used? Yes, a triangle can be used to give us a point. If you realize, it's out at the ends of the, the stars are triangular in shape, all right? Look at square again can't be used so the two that could be used the triangle five triangles could go around five sides of these to give you a five point star so four and two where is four and two option d okay let us look at item 40 this is our last question guys now for item 40 a question is followed by two statements Determine if the statements provide enough information to answer the question. The question reads, Dennis takes the bus to school. About what time will he get there? 
The statement one reads, the bus travels at 80 km per hour. Statement two reads, the bus left the bus park at 9 a.m. Option A reads, statement, statement one is enough to answer the question. No, because it only gave us the, the speed at which the bus was traveling. Statement two for option B is enough to answer the question. No. Because it only gave us a time the bus left the park. Both statements are enough to answer the question. No. Both of them are not enough to answer the question. Because even though we know the speed of the bus. And we know the time the bus left. We did not know for how long the bus traveled. So both statements are not enough to answer the question. So the only one there is option D. Thank you for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so when we upload a new video, you're the first to see.